Yeah. She, she loved the district. They took good care of her. Yeah. Oh, it's a good place. The mic's not working. It's still directional oh. into the camera. Oh, I lost my mic. <laughs> They're not working anyway. Oh, okay. We're going to start in about two minutes. We'll start right at 7 o'clock. Sobrato's not coming? I haven't heard. Okay. Normally he likes to be know it's all right Do you want me to text him? I know he's going to be. Yeah, let's do it just in case he forgot or he's running yeah. late or something. Give him a minute and see if he answers. Can I just call him? I could. Harrison Township, ZBA, um, August 9th, 2022 meeting will come to order. Um, who do I look? I'll do. Okay. Ms. Torp? Present. Sharon Lytle? Here. Mr. Gleason? Here. Bill Batanti is here. Mr. Prado is not here. Okay, thank you, Mr. Batanti. Uh, next item on the agenda is the approval of the agenda. Board members in your packet, you should have gotten the agenda for this meeting. Any changes to the agenda? Is there a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Uh, motion by Ms. Torp. Is there support for the motion? Support. Support by Mr. Um, Batanti. Any discussion motion? Unless there's objection, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, meeting agenda is approved. Next item on the agenda is the approval, uh, approval of the meeting minutes. Board members in your packet, you have the July 12, 2022 meeting uh, minutes. Are there any changes that are necessary? Is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes from the July 12, 2022 meeting? So moved. So support for the motion. Support. Motion by Mr. Batanti, support of Ms. Ms. Torp. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting minutes are unanimously approved. Next item on the agenda is hearings and reviews. Mr. Batanti will read the first case this evening. Uh, case number 1022 ZBA. Um, this is um, 38023 Cherry Lane. Uh, the, pro the proposed project, the applicant is proposing to build a 450 square foot detached garage, proposed setbacks, uh, a 10 foot rear yard setback, and a 2.2 foot 6 inch 
setback to uh, the side setback and 4.6 uh, feet, 4 feet 6 inches, excuse me, uh, between the house and the garage. The required setbacks are 30 year, 30 yard, uh, 30 yard rear, uh, side yard 4, setback to the house 10 feet. Required variances, uh, 20 foot rear yard variance, 1 foot 6 inch side yard, and 5 feet 6 inches to the house. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Batanti. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jamo Jamoko, you can call me Harry. That's Harry, fine. you yes. want to come to the podium and give us your name and address? And you have been before us uh, the last meeting. There were some questions as far as similar houses, yes. similar properties, similarly situated. You were going to go back and do some research. I, I took photos. Yep. Yes, sir. And um, why don't you take a few minutes to explain to us what what we have here. Okay, first of all, you want my name. My name is Harry Jermalowitz, and I live in 30 to 023 Cherry Lane, Harrison Township. Okay, I took photos that are on, uh, I'll, I'll call it a canal, it's really not an open canal, but on, on off of Cherry Lane, and there are photos of properties that are touching the waterway. Is okay to walk up if I, if I need to explain or no. Yeah, you can come forward. Um, are we going to lose him on the microphone? He'll be okay, as long as I have him in front. Okay. okay. Do I just go through these? Yeah, yeah. This right here, this is on the Cherry Lane. This is down a little farther. Okay. Um, do I, do I want to start with the Cherry Lane ones? And, uh, uh, this is Cherry Lane right here. Oh, okay. garage and a house that's... Right. I don't know, maybe seven, eight feet off the canal. This is my house right here. I don't know if you can see. This is the one that's on yes. Cherry Lane right, right. Now. This is the house right here that I would like to build a garage on. Right. Okay. I've owned this house since I've been 23 years old. All right. Um, this photograph here is the garage that was built behind me last year, okay? He's approximately three feet off his fence. He's actually shorter than that. He's 10 feet off the water. And I believe he's around seven feet from his home. His lot is deeper than mine. And I can show you those. His lot is deeper because my property line, like I said, goes back to, um, almost to a seawall. This is his garage that he built last oh, year. Okay. That's 10 foot off. Which one now, sir? This one here. Which oh, last that's, 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 okay. That was built last summer. Um, and that's 10 foot off in southern, in uh, oh, okay. two and a half feet off his fence line. So that's your neighbor on Cherry Lane, right? No, he's directly behind. Oh, behind, behind, is, directly on, behind is that the one on, on Mal's? Yes, sir. That's right. That's, that's, yep. that's the right, right, right. Right, okay. And these pictures here are just, uh, they're on the other side of the bridge. This is the house in addition and how close they're built to the waterway itself. This house right here, and I'll show you this so you can see it, is probably, I would say, seven foot off this seawall. Mm -hmm. This one here, and this is right down the canal also on Cherry yeah. Lane. I know the neighborhood is old. This is a picture of my neighbor who built right here. And I'm sorry they're not in order. That's right. But you can see the distance between his, his house and his garage. Now, he's got a deeper lot because, like I said, they, I lost about 25 feet. That's that's the new garage that was built behind me. Okay. I lost around 25 feet because of the water. Mm -hmm. So. This one, sir, that's practically in the water. Yeah, that one is in the water. That's that's a couple doors down from me. That's this one here. This one here, I, I don't know who. This is a newer home, and it's about five houses, four houses up towards Jefferson. And it was built right on the seawall and right on the property line. Amazing. And um, obviously, they didn't come oh, yeah. down and go through it. Right, right. But, but right. they did this. This is the next street, the next house that would be, this is uh, three houses for me, going towards the lake. 
and that's his garage on Cherry Lane, yeah. right alongside the Wall Street Bridge. Okay. In fact, they just did some yard work over there. And that's approximately That's can't be, but it's ten feet. You know, right, right in that range. I know all the homes down there are older. My house, I believe, originally was built in 1929 or 30. The actual right. main structure. So um, I know there's no such thing as grandfather clauses. This is another home that's down the street. On, on our, our canal, just before you turn and go, go out towards the lake. This is actually Cherry Lane here, and this is off of Which they picture are you Mass, showing, sir? Mass Court. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So that's further down. Oh, yeah, it's, it's further down. This house here, the only reason I took it is because how close it is to their property line, fence line. This yeah. is an older home that goes towards Jefferson, and what's in between the garage and the house. And I don't know what what's on the opposite side, but this is on Cherry Lane at all. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many houses up, but it's going towards Jefferson. There's another structure. Now, I, I didn't move, I mean, obviously, this structure here is closer, but this one here is uh, between this and this. I mean, these things are sheds. I know that, and I realize that. And they're not, I don't think they're garages. I don't, I don't believe this one's a garage. Now, I just... When I took the photos, and this right here is on Cherry Lane. This is actually a home. And, and you can see, and there, it's sometimes they're hard to make out. You can see the seawall yes. here, and you can see the home, how close everything is. That's one there. Yeah. That's on Cherry Lane also. No, I, That's I the home that close to the seawall. Oh, yeah. The yeah, there's homes like that. There, there's one picture of a home. That's uh, in there also that has like the bluish siding. That thing can't be seven feet off the seawall. I mean, that's not, not uncommon. I don't know, because I'm not really smart about the ordinance, ordinance, the ordinances. I'm sorry, I'm talking. I don't know. I believe there is an ordinance that states if you have a smaller piece of property that I would probably get a little bit more leniency. Well, actually, I think it, in general, that's the, um, the look at the, the zoning board, is that we're, you know, we're here that not every property follows, you know, our right our master plan exactly. And exactly. We, we do make exceptions as part of the zoning board. Um, you know, and, and, and one thing is I would, I'm looking to build a two-car garage. Something that I can get two vehicles in, side by side. So, and I know I'm limited with space, big time. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't want to build something where I can only get one vehicle in or it's not going to do me any good. My house is full of stuff right now that I'd like to put in the garage. I have a temporary shed, and you've probably seen that in the backyard right now, that I'd love to get rid of and get rid of all the other stuff that's back there also. But. Yeah. Well, actually, you had to stop for your gate, and I didn't feel comfortable to push your gate all the way open. So oh, I just yeah, well, that, when the garage is built, if it's built, then, then that'll all come down. I'll take that gate down and all that stuff. Great job on the photographs. Yes, Pardon? A great job on oh, the photographs. Oh, you're welcome. And this is, you. A, this is a house that is that close yeah, to Yeah, yeah, that is actually a home. You can see the window, mm -hmm. and that's... Um, that's a, down, if you go down our canal and you go past the bridge and you make a right, as soon as you hit the corner, it's actually not far from the one home that's real close to the seawall that's on there. You asked me if it was a home. But I, that one there is across on the opposite side of the canal. If, if you were to go down the next street, not Malast, and I don't know what they call it. At one point there used to be, when I first moved out there, there was a canal that actually was in between the homes. So there was a canal on the outside and a canal in the center. They filled it in. And they actually made a street there. If you go down that street, all them homes there, which are older, um, they're all real close. They have there's there's a lot of properties that have structures that are very close to the to the water and to and to their property lines. But okay. 
Thank you. We appreciate the thoroughness of what you've done in this, this packet together. Um, let's see. Do you have any other comments for us? I think we also got the, um, we also received the uh, property across the street, the, the application that was done was last year. Right. Yes, it was on the other side of the canal. And this it's is on the other side of the canal. Yes. I have a copy of that also. Okay. So, I think I believe with that one you did issue three variances. Yeah. So we're you know there is some history here as far as what you know what we have. Yeah, and yeah. his garage is like twenty four, I think by twenty. I don't know. I'm done. I it it's at least twenty four wide because of the length of the lots. Where I don't have that. I can't get behind my house and do that because my property, at one point, many, many years ago, I'm believing that was just a drainage ditch in there. And then over the years, it got opened up. You know, people put in walls and stuff like that. I'd, I've never seen anything bigger than a, like a 20 foot rowboat in there. I want to call it a rowboat, but like an aluminum boat with no windshield on it because you can't get under the bridge. At one time, when I was a young man, we kind of went to court and we fought to try and get that bridge out. They pulled the cap off at one time, but they reported it. And if I'm not mistaken, they reported it without a permit. We actually hired a lawyer and stuff to try to get it removed. We tried it better, but the people that are, the garage that I took a picture of, that's the first house towards the lake past Wall Street Bridge. He was the biggest offender. They put boats in their backyards, and that was so narrow that they didn't want the boat traffic to come through there. So they wouldn't, you know, it's always a fight to do something. But I would like to build a garage and better my community, you know, clean up my yard, make it look better also. But Okay. Questions for the applicant? wasn't here at the, uh, obviously, the last meeting, but the placement in the garage, it's not attached to the house? No. Because of? Bedrooms. But because there's bedrooms on that yeah. side? Yeah. Okay. okay. Any other questions for the applicant? Pardon? I'm just saying if there's any other questions that the board has for you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, hearing none, unless there's... Uh, um, Exception to this, uh, we'll go into board discussion. Uh, board members, we've had a chance to uh, see both the um, zoning uh, changes that were granted last year with a similarly situated property, as well as what um, the uh, uh, gentleman has put together as far as his property and his neighborhood. Um, it looks much, you know, much more consistent with what we were trying to get at the last meeting and kind of get some questions answered. So, any comments or discussion? Motions? Well, I have a couple comments then. Okay. Uh, I agree. As I did look down the canal, and there are certainly, I don't know how many, but a fair number of structures that come fairly close to the yeah. canal. So that, I agree that there certainly are. I don't know how many. Um, and we did research and got copies of case number 0821 ZBA from last year, where a 20 foot variance, uh, rear, set, uh, rear setback variance was granted. Um, side setback variances were granted as well. Um, one of my concerns about this request was the distance between the house and the garage, and I, I was concerned about safety. Right. So I contacted the fire marshal and had him review the plans. And he indicated that there should be no issue in the uh, event that the fire department had to get through the area between the house and the garage to the backyard for whatever reason. So um, I felt more comfortable with that, uh, knowing that that could still occur. Okay. Those are my comments. Okay. Uh, any other comments or discussion, board members? I took an aerial view on here of, of the lot lines, and it, it is very consistent with yeah. what's, what's across. Um, I, I can show you for what it's worth. Um, this is that this property, this is the one directly across. So they're 
if we're comfortable with the 10 feet, there, yeah. there's room. Okay, very good, thank you. Any other comments or discussion, board members? Is there a motion this evening? I'll make a motion to uh, grant the proposed 10 foot side yard variance, 2 foot 6 inch. Uh, oh, I'm, I, I take that back. It's a 10 foot, uh, a 20 foot rear setback variance, a 2.2 feet 6 inch side yard variance, and a 4 foot six inch set back to the house. You know, I, I, I take that back, Sabrina. I, I was reading the, the actuals, so let me rephrase that. I'll make a motion that we grant a 20 foot rear yard variance, a one foot six inch side yard variance, and a five foot six inch variance to the house. Excuse me for that. Okay. I thought it was four foot, four, five, six. I think, um, uh, not to interrupt, but it's written backwards when you, when you think about it. So I'm reading from Brent's Go by Brent. message, email, excuse me, 20 foot rear yard setback, a one foot six inch side yard, and a five foot six inch to the house variance. That's what is being said here. Now, if that's inconsistent, let's, let me look at the. Uh, I was going, that's off of what Brent wrote to us. It's a so different than the Mithinia agenda, is all we're saying. Although we're granting them a one foot greater variance than, 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 than this says. So, so, I, my, I so right my motion, I'm, I, I would prefer we use what Brent has. Yeah, I think so too. So I will support your motion, Mr. Batani. Yes. As not eloquent as it may have been. <laughs> okay. uh, motion I mean, by Mr. Batanti, supported by Ms. Um, Torp. Uh, any discussion on the, board on the motion? Um, the only thing I could, would add to the motion that doesn't even have to be added to it is just the fact that this is uh, based on similar and existing conditions, and to not grant this would be to treat this applicant differently than other applicants or other residents of the township. Have. So I think that's a fair phrase to be added, please. Okay, is there any other discussion of the motion? Without objection, uh, Mr. Batanti, would you do a roll call, please? Yes. Uh, Batanti, yes. Uh, Ms. Torp? Yes. Chairman Lytle? Yes. Mr. Gleason? Yes. Okay, very good. You have your uh, variance. Good luck with your project. Congratulations. And I Thank you so much. I really good, appreciate good it. Good work. Thank you. Good luck with the project. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Okay. Next item on the agenda is old business. Any old business this evening? New business. I would welcome Mr. Uh, Gleason on board. Um, uh, uh, Shane Gleason has been, uh, you said, five years in the township? Yes. And then he's also lived in St. Clair Shores. He's been on several committees uh, for the um, um, uh, for St. Clair Shores. And uh, we'll welcome him on board our zoning board. Thank you. Happy to be here. Good to have you here. Thank you. Appreciate it. We need it. <laughs> okay. Any other new business this evening? I, you know, and I want to thank uh, Sabrina. She helped out quite a bit trying to gather some information. So uh, a lot of hard work. So thank you very much, Sabrina. I agree. Thank you. It was able, we were able to put it all together. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Any other new business? Any announcements this evening? Public comment? Any public comment? Our next meeting is September 13th, 2002, or 2022. Is there a motion to adjourn this evening? So moved. So support vote for the motion. Support. Motion by Ms. Torp, supported by Mr. Gleason. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.